Hi guys, this is Joe and welcome to another tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be syncing in Twixter. So um, we're going to be like showing you how I use Twixter to sync my clips and I pretty much use Twixter to sync every single clip I edit um, like in episodes and stuff. So yeah, let's just jump into After Effects here. Now as I say quickly, I'm running out of tutorial ideas. Um, so I need more suggestions guys. Um, so we've got After Effects here, we've got a clip and we've also got a song Now I'm using I Need Some Sleep, the one I used from that I Need Some Sleep edit. Um, now the first thing you need to do is find the beats in the song. So in the song or composition, just press LL and it will bring up the waveform for you. Now I know the beat starts roughly around 20 seconds in. So to find the exact beat, what you can do is you can hold down Command or Control um, and you can then drag through. So that tells me that, so I can find the, you can listen to the music by dragging through by that. So I know the beat is right where the um, playhead is now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and press 1. So now I've got a little marker here, that's 1. Now I'm going to go forward again and find the next marker, um, the next beat, sorry. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to skip a beat, so it's a bit slower, so it goes boom, tch, boom, tch and so on, so like the booms of the shots and the other ones we missed, so I'm missing this one in the middle here. Then I'm going to go on again because it's a three shot clip. So you want to go roughly here, hold down shift again and press three. So now we've got three markers that we can work with. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit on this section here. Okay, so I've got, a, we've got the song beats. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a um, the sound. Now I always get rid of the original sound from the clip because of the like when you twist it, it'll sound a bit dodgy. So if you press one, it on your keyboard it'll take you straight to the first um, marker. Then if you press open square bracket, it will align the clip you've got selected or the file you've got selected with the playhead. So I've got that one. So if I press LL, you can see that I've got the shot lined up now. So I can then press Command D, press two to go to the second marker. Press open square bracket again and it syncs it to that one. Do the same again, three, and so on. So now we've got our shots on the beat. So if we just um, go here and just listen to this quickly. There we go, so we've now got our gun beats synced up to the shot. Um, the gunshot synced up to the beat, sorry. So right, next thing to do is add in our clip. So we'll drag the clip in here. And we're gonna drag it along. And go to press one, so we go to the first marker. Now I'm just gonna turn the sound off by clicking this sound button here. And now literally we'll need to find where the first shot is, where he first finds the bullet, which is there. Okay, so I want this, this zoom in to be slow here. So right, right here when he starts zooming, I'm gonna press shift control or shift command D. Then I'm going to go for 20 when the scope first appears. So this frame here, and press the same button, Shift Command D or Shift Control D. Now I'm just going to drag this back a bit. So drag these two bits back. So say 21, something like that. So now what we can do is we can apply Twixter onto this one in the middle. So if we search up some Twixter Pro, I'm going to use my Twixter settings, which I used which I showed you in my Twixter settings tutorial. Da, 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 da. Let's do this quickly. The annoying thing about Twixter Pro is it crashes when you try to copy it. So you can't actually save it as a preset for some reason. At least it crashes when I did it. Um, okay, so we've got a keyframe set on the first bit where it starts to zoom in. I'm going to go forward a frame by holding Control or Command and then the forward arrow key. And I want to set the speed to something like 3. I'm going to drag this out so it matches there. So now slow zoom in and I'm actually going to speed up a bit that is quite slow maybe go 7 so now it slowly zooms in okay, right, so here obviously it's here and then it goes to the scope so we want to zoom in a bit so speed it up a bit so we're going to add another keyframe go forward a frame and maybe bring the speed up to something like 16 let's just see if that goes into the scope at this point nope it doesn't so I'm going to go to this frame here and I'm going to bring it up to maybe 30. I'm just going to keep adjusting the speed till it gets to roughly where the scope would appear. So 
this is alright, I'm just going to drag these two keyframes back a bit so it gets to the big screen like that maybe. So now, if we zoom out a bit, you can see you've got the clip here which plays normally, he gets to here, and then Twix that comes in, and he's really gay and not, right there we go. So slow zoom in, in, then it speeds up, then it goes boom on the on the beat. All right, so now I need to get some tweaks on this bit here. Now we know he misses the first shot. So what I'm going to do is, because he misses the first shot, I'm going to tweaks to this bit. But I'm actually going to so do the same thing again. Just before he starts to scope in, I'm going to press Command Shift D to do, to split the layer. I'm going to go forward 20 first zooms in like there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for because he misses this shot. I'm going to go forward to his first zooms in on the next shot like that, and then I'm going to drag it along. So now zooms in like that, and it's it's pretty cool effect. I mean, it's obviously you can tell that it's zooming because he moves position when he comes out the scope, but it's still pretty cool. Right. So now what we need to do is we need to link the shot up with the beat. So go to press two. Now we're going to drag this all the way back here till he first fires the gun, which is there. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to add Twix there again, the one in the middle. Add the same stuff, 59.94, image prep, contrast, keyframe, inverse smart blend, and main BG sensitivity 100. Right, it's going to go forward to frame again, and then we're going to change it to 7. I'll use the same speed as we did last time. Just drag it along, with holding shift. So you zoom in in slow motion, then here we're going to press U to bring up the keyframes that we've made. Hit the keyframe button, go forward to frame again, and then press, I'm going to go 100 I think, I think that would be too fast probably. Yep, so when it's too fast like that you can go back a frame, so to the clip. I'm just going to drag these keyframes forward a bit so we know that it doesn't zoom in. See the reason, the only reason I'm applying Twix to just these, so to split layers, because if you apply it to just a layer and then add keyframes that like, whenever you want you'll get things like this. And it's hot. To, it's like you don't often see it, but see this frame could go so quickly. But I always notice it in an edit, so I always um, don't apply to it. I only apply Twix that to um, individual clips, not the entire clip. So again, now we've got he comes through here, slow motion zoom in again, which is a nice Twix start, and then boom, gets the kill. And for the last one here, oh sorry, my phone just vibrated. Uh, let's see, yep. So why did he start zooming in here? I'm going to split the layer again, one more time, it's quite a lengthy process, it does take some time but it is worth it in the end because I was thinking Twix the sinks look really nice. And that's where he shoots, go back to here, go to there, then add on the Twix the settings again. Yeah so when I do this, um, when I make edits I do this generally every single time. Um, it is quite annoying but it does create a really nice end effect so it's worth it in my opinion. So it slows him in and speed up a little bit towards the end here. So you say let's say 100 again at the end but we just need to, yep so he's already taken this shot at this bit so we want to go to there. So zooms in, boom. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Twix at the end here, just so we can then watch it. And I just want to say a massive thank you for 500 subscribers. It is awesome. I will be doing a special video for that soon, maybe on Saturday. Um, yeah, I'll do something for it on Saturday. I think it's a little sneaky plan for you guys, because I'm awesome like that, and I love my subscribers. <laughs> All right. So if we now then watch this through, through. I'm going to ramp preview it on skip 2 and resolution half just so it ramp previews a lot quicker. Even though it's going to go a little bit slowly. But yeah, um, I'll be having a special video out on Saturday for um, 500 subscribers and also 11,000 upload views, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's all really nice, it's all synced up, you'll see in a second. It actually looks really nice and it gives a really nice end effect in the end. Boom. Right, we'll watch it in like one second. Okay, right, let's just watch this through and see how it looks. Mm. 
There you go. So that is basically how you sync and twix the guys. Um, I think of this method, some people don't split it and just use one layer for the entire thing. You can put twix on adjustment layers as well, um, but I don't like doing that because it, it kind of messes up the clip almost. It, I mean, it works perfectly fine still, but to me it, it like really confuses me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and comment, and please give me some more suggestions for your tutorials, guys, because I'm really struggling to come up with ideas for you. So yeah, I shall see you guys later.